Well, hello there. This is Robin Norgren. Last time I talked about this idea of being well-rounded. And I want to take a few moments to give you some touch points or just some questions to kind of um, think about if you aren't sure if you struggle with this disease of trying to be well-rounded. So here we go. Question number one, who are you trying to impress? Number two, what do you have to force yourself to do? And number three, what would you like to never, ever do again? Now, I get it. There are things we adult, we're grown-ups, dare I say grown-ass women. There are things that we have to do because we get things done. Almost broke into Hamilton's song right there. But for real, you know that there are still some t things that you take on because it's easier to take it on than to have the grown folk conversation. And I'm just asking you to consider today if there is any way that you can start to disentangle you from some of those obligations. Because in my experience, as the days turn into months, turns into years, turns into decades, what you will start to feel is this hideous resentment that causes you to not want to say yes even to the things that you want to do. Because the things that you feel obligated to do are imprisoning you. So let's go over those questions again. Who are you trying to impress? What do you have to force yourself to do? And what would you like to never, ever do again? Now, I know, I know another overworked phrase is to find your passion. Do your passion. Find your bliss. Okay? So I, I know. Uh, for, for myself, it is almost like a turnoff when someone even starts to talk about their passion. Because the reality is, it's been an overused word. And, you know, most of us really do have ordinary lives, if, for lack of a better way to say it. But there should be some joy there, wouldn't you say? So think about it if we were to say, work your passion. And then I'm going to flip it a little bit. Masters focus on what they do best. That's how they become masters. They stay in their zone, and the zone is what feels good. Okay. Now let's think about this. It doesn't necessarily have to be passion, but could it be joy? Masters in this life find joy. Now, I know there's such a thing as good old-fashioned work, sweat, determination. There are things that need to get done and things that you are very good at getting done. And it's essential, let's face it. But there is a difference between slogging through the things that have to get done and slogging through your entire life. Yes, there are things that you have to run hard at and get accomplished. There are people that you have to um, take care of. But if they so fill your life that there is never a moment 
where life feels worth living, especially if you're making it so other people's lives are worth living because of what you do. I invite you to take a moment or two with these questions again. A one minute meditation where you ask yourself, who am I trying to impress? What am I forcing myself to do? What would I like to never, ever do again? Hey, if this is the moment where you change one thing, can you imagine how it changes so many other things? Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you.